My name is Dr. Sarah Tregenza and I'm the Asia Pacific Medical Affairs Director for Oncology at PFR. Through my role, I've heard a number of stories um, of patients that have needed access to our treatment, for example, before it came available. As a company, um, we're in the BRAF mutant CRC space, so BRAF mutant colorectal cancer space. This particular mutant form of colorectal cancer is rare, but also has a significantly poor prognosis compared to patients without the BRAF motivation. We had a long, lot of young um, patients that had families, um, really receiving a very dire prognosis. GI cancer patients have experienced some of the longest waits for access to new treatments. Um, so really my motivation is that we can change this um, to make sure all cancer patients, no matter what cancer type they have, get the same level of care and research investment. The GI Cancer Institute is uh, an excellent initiative for GI cancer patients because uh, it's really dedicated to patients with these types of tumours that, as we've discussed, haven't received the same amount of necessary um, awareness and funding. Um, so I see them as fundamental to vouching for and championing the rights and needs of patients in this space. PFR have been gold sponsors of the GI Cancer Institute since 2021. Uh, so obviously we've worked to help uh, fund and support some of the great work and trials and research GI Cancer Institute has done since that time. Donate to someone who's doing a gutsy challenge to raise funds. Um, for the GI Cancer Institute. And stepping it up a notch of challenge, uh, you could participate in the Gutsy Challenge yourself. I definitely encourage people to do that where possible. In Australia, 38 people are gonna die today alone from a GI-related cancer. Um, so often we think it won't be us or um, we don't think about these things until it happens to someone close to us or we hear a story. Um, but really it can happen to us, it can happen to you. Um, and these are real people that need help. So definitely that's why we need to care. Um, and these patients deserve just as much care and research investment as patients with other more common uh, cancers.